Ah. What's up guys, Shambles11 back with Goat Simulator one last time. Um, this time I'm going to do 9 achievements worth a whopping 330G. So, um, over at the barbecue area, grab someone, pick them up with your tongue. Now this does glitch a lot and it might be tricky. Then follow the path I'm taking up past these kind of tiki torches. And as you can see, they run away every now and then. So you have to kind of knock them over, lick them again. There you go, so where's he off to? Got him. Right, we got Wass. Follow the path where the torches are, and up here, drop off five people, and this will get you the first achievement we're going for. This is Devil Goat with 30G. We are each our own devil, and we make this world our hell. There you go, blood for the blood goat. First achievement done. Boom. This one does take a long time, hence I've edited it down just to the last person. Okay, now, while we're here, uh, again, this is from the barbecue area. If you head up over, if you remember from my previous video, I showed you the boulder we pushed down onto the barbecue. And instead of pushing it, this time get ever so gently up to it, lick it, and it'll follow you around, and it'll ping all over the place. And this time, we're going to dodge this. This is 15G. Make sure the hillbilly never dies again. So, get hit by a truck. You don't have to get hit by a truck. Um... <laughs> Head over to the cornfield and watch how bad I am at controlling this boulder. Um, for starters, I'm stuck. Yo-yo's all over the place. I found the best thing to do actually is jump. Keep jumping with it. Head over to where this guy's drifting in the field. And then miss it. And then miss it again. Of course, you don't have to keep licking it. I could have just let go, which was my mistake. But hey, learn from my mistakes, guys. And eventually, boom, dodge this. Okay, the next one is a bit more tricky. Um, head back to the construction site. The huge crane is, climb up the crane. And you have to climb up the crane here. You cannot do this. You won't get enough height just jumping off the trampoline. So um, we're going for around the world in five trampolines for 30G. This is visit five trampolines in one jump, bouncing on each one once. So head over here and you're going to press B. And that's going to put you in ragdoll mode. Now the reason is ragdoll mo mode, you get better control and you bounce higher. You might hit the crane. I did. This is actually my second attempt. So that was one. This is two. Number three is in the pool as well. Three. Four is just up by the next house, the developer's house. And five is the big jump. So we're going right the way across the road, almost to where our pen was originally. And if you make it, achievement unlocked. That is 30G, around the world with five trampolines. Head on back to the construction site, and this time we're going to go to the hill. Uh, this is everything the light touches is your kingdom for 15 whopping G. So, where the first trampoline was, um, I'm just playing around with some of the powers I've got. Guys, I really recommend for a lot of these as well, um, if you get the angel mod, uh, mutator, sorry. Um, it's just just be good, just sit in a corner if you haven't unlocked it, and, and it'll unlock after, I think, a couple of minutes of not breaking anything. And um, when you hold Y, it slows your descent. Now, you can't use that for doing the trampoline one, but it does help for a lot of them. So, I'm just getting some height here. And then you're going to see some crazy trampoline skills. What we want to do is we want to land on top of the beam of the crane. Now you can go to the end of the crane where that guy sat. You can nudge him off and then jump up, but I couldn't do it. So, didn't work. Somehow managed to save it. Pinged off the other direction. Can he make it? Can he make it? Somehow, yes. Not high enough. So again, this is using B to go into ragdoll mode. And then this time, get a bit higher, more towards the middle, and it just automatically flipped me to standing. Then comes the kind of nervous bit, um, because you, you start sprinting so quickly. So head towards where this wire is. And then the delicate turn around.
this isn't the game glitching, it is me trying to walk, but it just keeps wanting to sprint up here. So you can see one of the trophies as well. And as soon as you pick it up, you'll get Goat of the Hill for your 15G achievement. You're basically at the highest point of this area. Um, downstairs in the construction, there's this red bicycle. You can't miss it. It's right. It's very downstairs at the front of the construction site. Hop on it, and you don't need to cycle forward or backwards at all. I just got bored. And just go left, right, left, right. Basically, you're doing the counter of, of which way it's leaning. Do that for 60 seconds, and this will get you one ball. Ride a bike for 60 sec. 90G achievement. I mean, you can try cycling around, but as I'm about to find out, I did this for about three minutes. The only thing, guys, this won't pop after the minute. This will pop once you get off. So um, I played a song on, on my phone because um, I knew it was a three minute song. So obviously, by the time the song finished, I knew it was done. Um, and that's where it pops. Okay, um, head down to uh, the other area, into the town, so go through the tunnel into the town. Now I glitched this, but I'll show you how to do it properly. Um, this uh, one we're going for is disgusting. Um, why did you step in that yuck for 15G? You're in the sewers. Um, and the way you get in the sewers is just in this water, there's a tunnel. It's basically where the river opens up. And then... Um, the tunnel there's not an awful lot in the tunnel but there's this room where we get another quick achievement ling ling into battle go for 15g this is fight the turtles these guys are your turtles um on the pc version they are actually dressed as ninja turtles but i'm assuming there's some sort of licensing problem uh, i just had to win this you don't have to as soon as you come in here you'll get the achievement but i wanted to fight them there is also a trophy in the corner which you can just about see here and that's all there is downstairs in this area. So now they're all knocked out, I'll just show you again. So there's absolutely nothing this way, it doesn't do anything. And this is the way I got in from the bay bit. So stop pinging around in the water, I'll show you the entrance again. So there you go, you can see roughly where it is. Okay, so. That's achievement six and seven. Number eight, we're going for Valkyrie, 30G. Now, we're gonna go on the catapult with a rider. The way to get a rider is head into where the Ferris wheel is. You'll see this area with a bucking ball. Head inside and knock that mechanical ball out of the way and someone will just jump on you automatically. That's the way you get your rider. Then we're gonna head all the way back up the top to where you come out from the tunnel when you spawn in this area. You can also get hit by a car. Um, this guy won't fall off, he won't despawn. So once once they're on, they're on. I think I've got a woman actually, haven't I, this one? So follow, you can either go along past the uh, skyscraper, the hotel, and up, or you can take the route I'm taking. Head right the way up. And then just on the right, we're going to go up the path and right again immediately. You'll see a catapult. Just stand on uh, the cup of the catapult, I guess. I don't know what the official term is. And it will ping you off and you will get a whopping 30G. And again, another trophy inside. So there you go. That's Valkyrie. 30G. Okay, now the next one is the last one I'm going for. It's build a goat. This is 90G. So this is down on the main road down the bottom. So behind us, we've got the hotel on the left. Um, and if you just jump on here, there's different ways up to here, but this is, was the quickest for me. You're gonna hop all the way over. You'll see me using my hover mode again. Um, you're going to this dark, scary area. We're just in this corner. I'm afraid I've already picked it up so you won't see it, but I promise you it is just here. Um, there is a block. It's really hard to see. You'll probably, pretty much without fence fellow, but you'll pretty much just stumble onto it and it'll say one out of three. Um, what you're looking for is it looks like a Minecraft's cube, a block. Um, but it's in this area here. It'll say one out of three. There is also a big weird 
wart goat you can fight. He'll just hit you. He won't kill you or do you any damage. Just either nudge him out of the way or ignore him. Okay, so again, this is why this float mode is so good. This hover on the angel. I just felt like busting that for no reason at all. Um, head straight over. Again, I mean, guys, I, I'm not going to hold your hand 100%. It's pretty obvious where all these things are. This is great with skate park. Um, it's actually air hockey. If you're playing 2, 3, 4 play, you can play air hockey here. Um, if you head just over past the skate park, you'll see. There we go. Minecraft block. That's number 2. That's the grass block. And then jump all the way down. This is right down on the road. Again, in the corner, there's another tunnel that takes you back to the original area. But over the road, I actually um, got the angel hat again, then, amazingly. And then just down here on the coast, by the tree, there's the wooden one. So the first one I missed was the um, all block. And then we got grass. So there we go. All them done. Guys, I'm not going to do any more achievements. Um, that's another 9, another 330G. Um, for all the other achievements, there are already incredibly good um, detailed guides. There's one for collecting all the hats, which I'm wearing. There's a few for collecting all the um, different trophies. J honestly, just put the description in. Um, put the achievement name in. YouTube it. There's some absolutely brilliant guides. I'll just be ripping them off. Um, so I hope this has helped. I've loved this game. It's absolutely stupid and pointless. I've got the 1000G Flappy Goat. Good luck, guys. Um, I actually bribed my son to do it, so I can't help you there. But thank you ever so much for watching.